What's up guys, my name is Westy and today I'm here to talk about my favourite weapons in Battlefield 3. I think enough of the game has gone past now, enough weapons have been released, and enough time has gone past for me to actually figure out which guns I use most and which ones I prefer to use all the time. So what, guess what I'm really trying to say is these are my go-to guns, the ones that I use for each class, just whenever I feel like playing Battlefield really. Okay, so first up is the Assault class, and most of you won't find this a surprise. My favourite gun is the AK. Now, uh, picking out from the three main weapons that people like to use from the Assault class, which is obviously the M16, M416 and the AEK, I think the AEK performs best overall, and that's because it's got an extremely high rate of fire in comparison to the M16 and the M416. When I first started playing Battlefield 3, I was new to PC gaming, so I sort of used Metro 64 man servers as a way to get used to the game. It meant that the linear way of the game worked is that your lines of sight were fairly straight, you didn't have to sort of move around too much to be able to hit targets, and for me that helped me learn the controls and learn the sensitivity of the game in comparison to the PlayStation, which is what I used to play on. And at the time, the attachments that were in favour were foregrip and suppressor. They just made the gun so much better than if you were just using the standard gun. Of course, now that's all changed, and I prefer to use a foregrip and a heavy barrel. The reason you use the foregrip is obviously to reduce side-to-side -side recoil, and the heavy barrel just increases damage at long range. And I think if you can learn to control the recoil on the AEK, you can see that I burst fire the gun quite a lot. I don't tend to leave it on full auto, I burst fire it with my finger on the mouse. I find that it's, if you can learn to control the recoil pattern of the AEK, this thing can be dead accurate and essentially you can eliminate the recoil overall. My one sort of wish for the AEK is that it would get some sort of camo. Now a lot of uh, guns in the game have actually seen releases of assignments for those guns where you can unlock camos. And I think the AEK has sort of been left out along with the M16. But of course the M16 is the starter weapon and you know it's kind of got its own sort of like metallic look. If you look at the AK-74M and the M16, they both sort of look like they've been put, had more detail put into them than the other guns. Obviously because they're the starter guns, they're the first guns you see when you jump into multiplayer if you choose to play, play the assault class. Now for me I'd really like to see some sort of navy blue digital camo with the AEK or maybe a bear cook camo because obviously it's a Russian Russian gun so uh, I thought I thought it'd be really cool that you could get a camo for it and I'm really hoping in Endgame that they release something for it like that. So moving on from the assault class we find ourselves in the engineer class. Now here I've got a toss up between the SG553 and the ACWR. The SG553 has become my latest love from the engineer class because I sort of picked it up from the co-op weapons and I decided to start using it and I found it was really good. It was similar to a lot of the assault rifles that I've used with a slower rate of fire. But I think the ACWR has won my heart over. I really like its high rate of fire. It's quite similar to the AEK in that fact. I quite I like quite high fire rate of guns. It just makes the, the killing quicker. You can move on, get to the next target, play the objective, so, so on and so forth. But uh, yeah, the AC, ACWR delivers that in tons for me. And I feel it really it controls really well as well. It's not great at long range, uh, but sort of for medium to close range is what you're looking for for engineer, really. Uh, this gun outperforms, well, for me, outperforms any other gun in the class. Now, I know a lot of people would have picked the AK-74U, I think it's called, or the AKS-74U, but I find that its slow rate of fire is just too hard for me to sort of pick up and take on. It's similar to the AK-74M in the uh, Assault class. I just find its rate of fire isn't, isn't high enough for me to sort of take it on as my main weapon. Um, as I've already said, high rate of fire for me is just top dog. Okay, so moving on to the support class. For me, I don't really use the support class very much. It's just not really my go-to class, really. If you're talking about go-to weapons, obviously there's one for different classes. My go-to class is actually Assault, uh, just because it's the easiest way to get points. I mean, you have your main weapon, your secondary weapon to get points, then you've got the Defib, which gets you 100 points every revive. Plus, if you drop a medic pack, you can get yourself 10, 20 points every single time somebody runs past it and they haven't got full health. It's just a really easy way to get, get points. But yeah, back to the support class. Um, my favourite gun for that is kind of hard to say really. It's either the M240B or it's the M27 AIR. Or yeah, AIR I think it's called. IAR. That one. M27. Let's just call it that. Now obviously the M240B is best if you're going to be using it as a suppression sort of gun. That's what these big heavy belt fed LMGs are actually built, the game, built into the game for. They're put down to lay suppression on your enemy. But the great thing about it is it's got a really high damage at close range. It's 34 damage at close range, which means three bullets at close range, and bam, you can drop your uh, you can drop your enemy straight down on the floor. 
but with the M27, you've sort of got yourself a sort of extended mag assault rifle in sort of certain terms, with its damage being 25 at max and then dropping off to 18.5 at 15 meters. And that is similar to what you'll find from an assault rifle. But obviously the one extension of that is that you get 40, I think it's 47 bullets in a clip. And with extended mag, you can sort of top that up to nearly 100 bullets. And I think that's really good because if you're playing sort of like objective style, but you want to be giving out ammo to your your teammates, your squad mates, everything like that, then you really want to be using a gun that's not too heavy, that isn't going to like sort of have such a slow rate of fire that you're really just going to lose every gunfight. And the M27 for me fits pretty well there. But overall, I think I'm going to have to go for the M240B. Just the way the whole thing looks, it's one of the best looking uh, LMGs in the game. And it's belt fed. It just makes you feel like a badass when you go on a 7 kill streak and get like loads of kills with your bipod. Makes you look awesome, plus it feels great. And finally, we come along to the recon class, which as everybody knows is a little bit ignored when it comes to love in Battlefield 3. It's a little bit underpowered in compared to every other, every other class. But um, I still find that it has some benefits if you know how to use the guns that are in it. Now from my last video I did talk about bolt action sniping in Battlefield 3 and I felt it was a little bit underpowered. But that hasn't stopped my decision for the best gun for me in the recon class is the SV-98. And I suppose that it's always been an SV-98 sort of love for me. Even in Bad Company 2 the SV-98 for me was the best sniper rifle. It felt so good to use and it's the one I got familiar to and even in that game it was the best one for me to go to. Obviously it wasn't the best gun, that was the Gold Sniper Magnum. But the SV-98 always felt comfortable to me and in this game it feels really comfortable too. So you guys know I like using the ACOG scope with this one and um, you've seen a couple of streaks that I go on. I'm actually getting better at sniping. And now that you guys have said that you wanted to see more sort of like sort of uh, aggressive sniping and bolt action sort of clip, you guys have like sort of propelled me to actually get a little bit better at using the recon class. Um, but still, I think it's completely underpowered in compared to other classes. But um, using the SV98 for me is a bit nostalgic, and I like the way it handles. It feels like Bad Company 2, but in the Battlefield 3 setting. So now I've told you about all of my favourite weapons, I want you to leave in the comments what your favourite weapons are. Obviously you guys have got completely different playstyles to me. I like using Assault because I like playing the objective and getting lots of points. Maybe you guys like playing support and like laying down fire and being sort of your friend rather than the guy who goes and arms all the objectives all the time. I don't know, but you need to let me know in the comments. So I do hope you enjoyed this video guys, if you want to connect with me more you can look up my Twitter link, it's in the description. I'm always on Twitter pretty much 24-7 throughout the day so you can always get hold of me on there. And I do have a Facebook page as well which is in the description too. So I've been Wesley, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.